Hey, what's up, you guys? Tyler here, back with another video. And as you can tell by my props, today's video is going to be another beer review. Uh, today's beer is going to be uh, a beer called M43 by Old Nation. Uh, they're out of Williamston, Michigan. Yep, Williamston, Michigan, which is uh, about 15 minutes outside of East Lansing. It's a New England style IPA. It's by far the best um, New England IPA out of Michigan right now. So I'm gonna go through the literature on the can here. Uh, it's part of the New Orthodox IPA series, M43. 6.8% alcohol, so it's middle of the road. Uh, 65 IBUs, so I mean when you're getting into the between 75 and 100, that's a pretty uh, bitter tasting beer. Um, and they also put all the ingredients on the can, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so the malt is just a Pilsner, Pilsner malt with wheat and oats, which gives it kind of that haziness. Um, the hops they use in the boil are Calypso, Amarillo, and Citra. Uh, and then they dry hop it with Citra and Amarillo and Simcoe. Now Simcoe is kind of interesting because it brings a lot of flavors of like, people say cat pee and grass and uh, kind of an earthy, earthy flavor. So to pair it with the Amarillo and Citra, which are really tropical, orangey, uh, citrus notes, uh, is, is interesting. This can was canned on 7-7, 2017, uh, so about a week ago. So that's uh, what's on the can, and without further ado, let's get into the glass. All right, guys, now that we got it into the glass, uh, as you can see, it is hazy. As I was pouring it, um, just like the King Sue review that I did, uh, you could smell it right away coming out of the glass. This one is much stronger, much more tropical. Big, huge pineapple, mango, all the citrus fruits that you would expect out of out of a beer this hazy. But it's clean, clean and, and, and refreshing. It smells not over hoppy, uh, not over full bodied, so it smells medium bodied I'd say, which is, which is nice because this is definitely a beer that you can have just on the back porch on a, on a summer evening. Yeah, so just more pineapple, mango, all that good stuff. Pretty refreshing hop, not too, it doesn't smell too bitter. So let's get into a taste of the M43 by Old Nation. Cheers. <sighs> yeah, this is definitely one of the best New England IPAs I've ever had. If you want to try one that is most like the New England out in New England, uh, this is definitely the one to get your hands on. A huge orange, like juicy orange, juicy tangerine, um, little tart pineapple and mango flavors in there as well. Definitely not malt forward, um, but there is some of that crisp clean kind of Pilsner malt that balances out the little bitterness that is there, uh, which I'll get into, but it just gives it some body, some extra body. The oat and the wheat in it give this give this the perfect body. Back to the bitterness. It's definitely not bitter at all. It says 65 IBUs. I would say that this, it tastes under 50. And the international bittering units is sort of a foggy scale to begin with, but I've given this to people that don't like IPAs, and they love it. I mean, it's super refreshing, juicy, drinkable. The hot profile is perfect. All right, guys, so to wrap this review up, as you can tell, I'm a big fan of this beer. It's in my top five IPAs of all time. Definitely recommend go pick this up if it's, if it's available. If not, message me, I'll send it to you. It's We'll do a trade. But, um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If I had to give this a, a number grade, I'd say 98, 99 out of 100. Uh, it's everything you want in a New England IPA. Um, so again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more beer reviews and also the other videos I do on my channel. I like doing a wide variety of them. Uh, so hopefully there's something that you like. So go ahead and subscribe for more of that. Comment, what's your favorite New England IPA? Let me know <laughs> down below what you think, and I will see you in the next video. Later.
All right, guys. Uh, one last thing I forgot to say. Me and Gabriel are going camping next week, so I'm going to be doing a lot of video and a lot of footage of that. Uh, but we're, our plan is to get back on Wednesday, which means that my weekend update's not going to be up until uh, later in the week. So I'm going to move that to later in the week. All right. Cheers, guys. Later.